Hi everybody, I'm Adam Rogers with Metro AV and I'm here today to show you how to set up and configure Big Dog Power with Mavbase.com. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is open up the app and we're greeted with a login screen. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and set up a new account. So we're gonna click sign up and we're greeted with a sign up screen. From here, we're gonna enter our information. We're gonna register as a dealer today. So we're gonna sign up as a dealer and we're gonna say like so. Now we wanna give an address for this, uh, for our account uh, to make sure that it shows up on the map correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and put in an address in here. We're gonna put in the cell phone number for the push notifications. And we wanna make sure to say which carrier we're using. Then we'll type in the email address and we want to create a password. Put the password in a second time and click sign up. Now we can go ahead and sign in with the account we just created. I'm gonna click on keep me logged in because this is my account that I'll use all the time. We'll click log in. And once we're in, the first thing that we wanna do is go ahead and create a new client for ourselves. So we'll go to add new, add client. We're gonna go ahead and give them a name. And we want to put in their email address. Put in their phone number. And we want to create a password for the client. We can put in some notes for the client if we want to. In this case, we can say where they're located or how to get to the house. Now we're gonna set up the location. In this case, this is the primary home for the client. Which time zone they're in. This is very important to make sure that any kind of schedules that we have continue to work like they're supposed to. We'll go ahead and put in their address. And we'll, se we'll select if they want to do some kind of push notifications through email, text, or through the app on the phone. In this case, we'll turn them all on. Once the client's been added, now the next thing to do is add the PDU. So we're gonna go to add new, add PDU, and we're greeted with the setup screen. All right, so we're gonna open up our Wi-Fi settings. We're gonna select our Metro device. We're gonna click on Find PDU, and it will find it. From there, we're gonna read the SSIDs in the area. These are our Wi-Fi names in the area. And we're gonna select this one. And we're gonna type in our password. And then once we hit connect, we're gonna switch back over to our Wi-Fi network that we're using. And then we're gonna click next. From here, we're gonna select the client that we're gonna connect this PDU to. We're gonna select the location, the model that it is. In this case, it's a 13 outlet. And we're gonna give it a name. In this case, we're gonna call it the Rack PDU. And we can put in notes. We can say that this is mounted to the bottom of the rack. From here, we can go to our outlet setup and we can configure the outlets, the thermistors and our network. And then 
we can submit. And now it's been added to the client. And once that's done, it'll bring us back to add an additional PDU if necessary. In this case, we don't need to worry about it. So now that we've got the PDU added, we'll go over to the client, go to their dashboard, and now we have the PDU. We can open it up, controlling all the individual outlets directly if we want to, and all the other settings. So we can turn on and off outlets if we want to directly. We can also go in and change the firmware, check the network information, change the trigger settings, change the temperature sensor settings, and we can change the configuration of the power button as well. We've done all of this on the phone, but we can also do it on the tablet as well. And that's how we set up and configure Big Dog Power with Mavbase.com, the app on the phone and or on the tablet. For more information, visit us at metroav.com or go to mavbase.com.